welcome in David Littlefield, the VP of Player Development for the Tigers, and he joins us to talk a little bit about an exciting day for Matt Manning tomorrow. He makes his Major League debut. David, we appreciate the time very much. What did he do to warrant the promotion to the big league club, do you think? Well, I think it's a body of work. Matt's a very talented guy and uh, more recently had a great performance. But uh, overall, he's a high-end prospect that has the talent and the mentality to be a front-end starter in time. Yeah, and a lot of people look at the numbers and, and they'll look and they'll say, well, well, gosh, he wasn't that successful in Toledo. How's he going to be successful in the major leagues? And that always doesn't translate. It only takes just that getting that opportunity and everything clicks and you're on your way. Is that what you're kind of expecting out of Matt Manning? Well, it certainly is, Dan. Uh, he had a, a real nice year in 2019 before the pandemic. And then last year, obviously, was kind of lost. But, uh, you know, this this spring pitched well in spring training and uh, got off to a little bumpy start. But that's part of the, the process. And he more recently had a nice out in his last one. Yeah, that you mentioned that bumpy start. What What's he have to do or what has he changed that will make him successful in his start tomorrow night in Anaheim? Well, he's highly talented with stuff and velocity. And, and like a lot of pitchers, uh, consistency and command, they're always the two keys. When he gets more of that, then, uh, you know, he's obviously going to have more success no matter what level he pitches at. He's got great poise and he's got great confidence too. How much do you think being around the big league team will aid him in that transition? I think it'll certainly help. I mean, he's had a, a, a time period where he's we've thrown bullpens up in the big leagues in different years. He's been to big league camp. You know, the, his dad played in the NBA for a couple of years, and he's been around sports his whole life. But I think you package it all together, and obviously everybody's, uh, you know, working with him now, that, that that'll put him in the best place possible. One out here in the Kansas City third, and it's one and two to Whit Merrifield. We're talking with David Littlefield, the VP of Player Development. Matt Manning makes his debut in Los Angeles against the Angels tomorrow. And, 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 David, I know it's not necessarily his hometown, but it is his home state, and he'll have a lot of folks in attendance there. Any thoughts to uh, added pressure in that regard for Matt Manning on his debut? Well, I, I don't know if you can have any more added pressure than just pitching in your first big league start. So uh, I'm sure there's lots of little things around there with tickets and friends and family, but, uh, uh, you know, he'll put his best foot forward, and this is just a start. This is not the... Uh, end all Matt's uh, got a long career ahead of him and we're really excited about it yeah David you know uh Tarek Skubal and Casey Mize very well uh how much do you think they'll help Matt Manning kind of navigate his first start and and you know help him be successful I think it definitely will help it's it's no doubt that having some friends and guys that you came up with that are already experiencing the ups and downs and the challenges along with some things that help them out, will we'll benefit Matt. So uh, it's a good thing in, in that regard that he knows them as well as he does. But I think A.J. Hinch and his staff certainly understand what they're getting in Matt, having worked with him this spring, too, and they're going to be of help also. Three and two to Whit Merrifield. Casey Mize was really good again last night as Scoobal strikes out Merrifield, his third strikeout of the day. Others who were promoted recently, Spencer Torkelson and Dylan Dingler from West Michigan to Erie. Did that surprise you at all on how quickly they were able to get to double-A? I don't think so. Uh, honestly, they're both highly talented players. Obviously, Torkelson was the first pick in the draft, so our scouting people thought a lot of them. Um, they, you know, get off to Torkelson a little bit of a slow start, but got it going, and certainly he's been killing the ball recently and doing everything that you want him to do uh, defensively as well as a heck of a ball player. Dingler is a very talented guy. We saw him last year in spring training and down there in alternate site in Toledo. So I'm not surprised just because they're so talented. A chopper and a nice play at third by Harold Castro. Couldn't get out of his glove. And Carlos Santana is safe on an infield single. You know, David, I, I'm just, this is kind of a little different. But, you know, we've seen a rash of injuries in, in Major League Baseball at, at an all-time high. And what is going on in the minor leagues have, have, you know with with nobody playing last year have you seen any tick up in injuries or is everybody for the most part hopefully staying healthy well it's definitely a concern i know we had a lot of conversation in spring training and in the off season heading into the year just as far as workload and the pitching arms and one thing in the minor leagues that's changed from years past is we now have every monday off which it's nice. It gives us a little blow. 
Perez belts one to deep left field, and that's into the bullpen. A two-run homer for Salvador Perez to give Kansas City a 3-1 lead. Talking with David Littlefield, the VP of Player Development. So we touched on a couple of prospects, but there's another one that maybe doesn't quite get the ink. Ryan Kreidler was a fourth-round pick out of UCLA a couple of years ago. Didn't play at all last year because of the pandemic, and yet you started him in double A. It doesn't seem like that has been too much for him to handle. What has impressed you most about the young shortstop, Kreidler? Well, he's a very advanced uh, young man. He's mature. I, he knows the game well. He's defensively very sound. You know, we knew the, the bat was uh, going to be a challenge, but he, he performed well in on the major league side once he got that opportunity and there's a guy that you have a lot of confidence in just the way he handles himself so he's performed very well with the bat recently and you know we think it's going to keep uh, going through the rest of the season but we're very high on Kreidler he's a big bodied shortstop that's very athletic anybody else turning your heads in the minor leagues that Tigers fans should be on the lookout for yeah Angel De Jesus is a right-handed reliever from the Dominican that's pitching well in Toledo he's I think probably been under the radar a little bit, but uh, six four right hander has got a good arm and a good slider. Uh, Daniel Cabrera is a left handed hitting outfielder that we drafted in 2020 from LSU. Uh, he's been hitting the ball very well recently and certainly is uh, a, a well a complete player. And you know beyond uh, obviously a name Riley Green that many of the Tiger fans know that uh, we're very excited about as well. You know, you've seen the the amount of pitching that the <clears throat> big club has needed. You know, just recently, a lot of call ups, a lot of injuries, and do you do you expect some of these people to to move up quickly? Not not necessarily one level at a time. Is it possible that some of these could be plucked out of Double A should the need arise at the big league level? Well, we're always talking about players and call ups and potential call ups. Uh, so that's always a possibility. But, you know, one of the things with prospects, you try to generally have a plan for them and, and kind of step by step. But sometimes there's need at the major league level, and we understand that. And we're always trying to be as prepared as possible. But generally speaking, we like to try to follow a plan. But the good players, you know, like we saw with Torkelson and Dingler, they make their own path. And obviously when they do very well like they did, uh, you know, you're, you want to get them to the next level to challenge them some more. David, it's great stuff. Love the sport coat, but love the information even more. Thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Happy early Father's Thanks, Day man. to you, okay? Always great Thanks, seeing man, you, Dave. Dan. Thanks again. I look forward to our next chat.